Hello YouTubers, this is JTamrick22 and today I'm going to start a new series and this is called Simple Windows Tutorials. I did start one for Mac but then like my Mac computer died and I built my own Windows computer and so it's done and now I'm going to start up with this new series called Simple Windows Tutorials. Uh, today in our first tutorial we'll be going over what to do if your Mac or if your Windows is really slow and you just keep getting the spinning wheel. So first what you want to do is on your keyboard hit control and click and hold it click and hold control alt and then press the delete key. You should get a screen that looks like this. Then you want to click on a screen that says task man or this little button right here that says task manager. It may look different depending on the operating system you have. I have Windows 10, you may have Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista or you may have Windows 10 just like me. But to see what file or to see how your computer is slow, you want to look at one of these three icons right here CPU, memory, or disk. If any one of these numbers is really high, I'm going to say probably over 75, that's probably what is slowing your computer down. So as you can see right now, I don't have many applications open, but if I did, I had one that was taking up a lot of memory or CPU or it was taking up a lot of my disk speed then one of these numbers would be really high um, so if you're not if that was really high then you can see this 25 percent I click on it and right now it makes it uh, zero megabytes but if you click on it again it shows you in order which application is taking up the most all the way down to the least so if this let's say NVIDIA GeForce Experience that's for my graphics card was taking up 85% memory and my computer is really slow and it's just already getting slow as soon as I run this program you can click on it and then you can see in this bottom corner right here it says end task you just click on that um, or if you click on CPU you can see that it's also one of the top on my CPU if I go to disk it's also the top one on my disk because right now I'm actually using that program to record my screen for this video for you guys but as you can see on memory number two would be Spotify for those of you who don't know what Spotify is it's basically like Pandora if you don't know what that is it plays music you can pick a song and it will play it for you and like you can make your own albums and stuff like that it's really cool but you just click on it and then just click end task right there and as you can see it goes away but it comes back because I have it open but as you can see now when I click on it it's not open there it is and if I go back to it now uh, as you can see it's not there but if I open it there it is right here Spotify climbing up uh, so yeah that's something you can do if that still doesn't work go to performance right here you can watch this graph if it ever gets like right here where my cursor is then uh, you want to click on resource monitor right here and then you can go like processes right here and you can click on let's say memory is the one that had a really high number you just click on memory right here and again this shows you all the applications so then you can just go over here find it click on it, and click end task and by doing that it will actually get your computer speed really fast because if you get rid of the program that's taking all the data or that's taking up all the space and that no other applications can use it, it will make your computer go significantly faster. Alright guys, thank you for watching again. This is JTMRIC signing out. Goodbye.